using QuickRes for virtual case management. In this video, we will review the QuickRes backend functions that are useful for virtual case management. Are you ready? Let's take the tour. Each case manager receives a user ID and password to access the backend portal. They may also be assigned a unique URL called a token that allows QuickRes to automatically add clients to a case manager's cohort. Once signed in, there is a simple intuitive interface with a simple navigation pane where a case manager may switch between a case manager's records and in some settings, clinic records. A longitudinal record is generated for each client and case managers can use simple date filters to view past and upcoming appointments. They may also use ID labels to look up a client's record by their name or phone number. The cohort filters can also help a case manager to filter through their records of clients based on their service type and other categories. There are buttons on each client's record that allows case managers to record services received by the clients and note those services reported by clinic-based staff users. The case management section is mainly used by case managers to add a client to their cohort and to track when a client is due for refill and or a new service appointment. Case managers may also use QuickRes to report quarterly retention on drugs like ART and PrEP. With just one click, a case manager can book future appointments with the primary details about a client already replicated. There is a section for case notes and to track upcoming appointments. Case managers can also use QuickRes to screen for violence and report services for which a client has been referred.